Hey everybody and welcome back to Layers of Fear. Um, in the last episode we kind of, uh, I don't know, wandering around this freaking house and every room seemed to like create more rooms and nothing you walked back out to was what you walked into to begin with. And we somehow ended up in this freaking, I'm guessing this might be the basement, but uh, there's some stairs over here so I think that's where we're going to head to next. So let's just get right back into this and... Oh. Oh! 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 What? Hello? What the? Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? There's a creepy head again! Why are these heads everywhere? Oh, there's a note here. Uh, it says, my love, even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. Oh. Oh, so their, uh, special night must have led to, uh, pregnancy, apparently. I'm just speculating here. Um, it's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person, I guess. I guess what other people look for in a sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in this country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again! <laughs> Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet here you are within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Wow. So, next question is, is she pregnant with uh, something fucked up? Oh, what's this? Whoops. Oh, all right. So we're back to the freaking. What the? F Is that a real child? Hello. Is that a fucking real child? What the fuck? Ew! What is with this painting? Why is it everywhere? So I guess we go back through here. Oh my god. What? Paint deep lies. Now a tiny bit to the left. Yes. Just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. Excuse me? <laughs> what a fucking creep. Did he rape her? Yo, did you rape her? That's fucked up. I do not like the sound of these. What the fuck? Is there mice? What the fuck? There is rodents in here. What the fuck? Ew! Where are they? Are they following me? did that who fucking did that you can clean this shit up now you can clean it up god these oh my god are those people hung they look like they're like hung they're dead they're absolutely dead where do i go and where do those rats go yeah i don't think i was in here so it's confusing Hello? Hello? I, I can't get to you. It's locked. Oh god. Hello? It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I'm talking I mean, to a brush? Hello? I've seen you in my house so many times. And yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. All 
All right. Why is someone crying? And where's it coming from? Can't go through that door? What? Now I'm just back at the fucking kitchen again. What the hell? Now that music's getting loud. Something's gonna happen. What the hell? I can't go through that way. Hey, the grocery list is gone. What the fuck? What? What? Excuse me. What the fuck? Who's in there? What? Oh. Oh. Ho. Oh. Hello? I don't need this much food! Please! Please, you're overbearing me! It's too much food. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I okay. used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Ooh. Ooze helped keep my hand steady. What? What is that, though? This is like, oh, so this is skin, but where is this like from your face? I'm gonna just go. You fucker. Oh boy. No, not this painting again. What's this? Can I... Can't do anything with that? What? Alright. Shapeless dreams, you say. What? Are those flamingos? Oh, they're bloody flamingos. Oh, so I'm like getting- am I just like getting more words added to this fucking thing or what? What's this? Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's not the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? I don't know, man. Why is everything locked? Well, what was that? Oh. Just shut that. Alright, so I just gotta go back out here then, I guess? I wanna find out who's crying. Is it that girl that was giving birth? Ho! Oh! Interesting. Here we go. Ho! Oh! What the fuck was that? Is every door always locked? Okay, this is creepy. What? Well, there's a key. Got the key. What? Oh my god, this is long as fuck. Dear sir, well, I can certainly understand that you're upset and have nothing but. 
wait, what? And I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself. I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne's have made every effort to ensure a possible positive outcome for your wife. So they lost the baby. Um, personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think... Wait, what? Yeah, how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and this I will not... And thus, I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can help, or I can have my assistant uh, provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through this hard time. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green. So yeah, they lost the baby, and then apparently this guy just went psycho and decided it was okay to piss the doctor off. What? There's that fucking thing again. What is that? I guess it's just like trees outside. <coughs> oh my god, I think I might be dying. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. What? Hmm. This is still locked. Is this still locked? No. It is not still locked. How big is this house? Or is this like all in his head? And am I the guy or am I just somebody investigating this? There's nothing in there. Is there anything in here before we head upstairs? Just some clothes. That's locked, all right. Why do I hear fire? All right, so upstairs we go, I guess. Oh! Well, that's, that uh, explains the fire. I'm so gonna fall through this, aren't I? I'm so gonna fall through it, I call it right now. I bet I have to walk like right over it. No? It's not gonna do anything? Hello, door. I don't like that sound. What the f I don't like this. I don't like that sound. It sounds demonic. God damn rats. Get out of here. Oh, well, there's a mouse trap right there too and he didn't even He didn't fall for that. Huh. I don't think I can go on there. Make up your mind? What am I making up my mind about? Alright. I think we're going to end this video here. Um, we're kind of at a weird friggin... What the fuck? That's a little disturbing. Anyway, we're at this... We're at like a stopping point here. Um, looks like there's a couple doors down this way that we can explore in the next video. So we will leave it here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.